What are intercorporate management fees? Today, we will talk about how to deduct intercorporate management fees to reduce corporate income taxes. Intercorporate management fees can be used to allocate income from a higher income company in a corporate group to a company with lower income or losses. This will effectively reduce the overall tax paid by the corporate group. For example, assume company A has profits of $300,000, while company B has losses of $100,000. The corporate taxes payable by A and B is approximately $45,000 based on a tax rate of 15%. What if company B were to charge a management fee of $100,000 for the year to company A? In this case, company A's profits would be reduced to $200,000 and company B's profits would be zero. The corporate taxes payable by A and B will now be $30,000. While this may sound attractive, it is important to understand how to utilize intercorporate management fees as the Canada Revenue Agency is very strict. This means that proper documentation is needed, including a contract between the company paying the fee and the company receiving the fee. The contract should indicate the business relationship between the companies, a description of the management services provided, timesheets, and invoices to prove the authenticity of the transactions. In addition, the management fees paid should be reasonable. Unreasonably high management fees will be disallowed as a tax deduction. So here's the tip. Consider intercorporate management fees as a way to reduce corporate taxes payable by two or more corporations. If you like this tip and want to know more, drop us a comment below or visit maddenca.com. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe so we can bring you great tax tips every week.